Hey gang, so I had a run-in with a deer yesterday. Uh, I was uh, on my way out to my parents uh, to do a few things which I'll show you in the video right now. So we're doing some of the unboxing of some parts for a project I've got going on on my cater home. And then I also uh, was working on a Vespa that I have out there as well as uh, my BMW that's sitting out there at the shop right now too. So uh, I'll show you that first and then uh, we'll get back to uh, the continuation of that initial footage. Anyway. Here you go, enjoy. Hey gang, so I'm at um, actually my parents' garage where I do lots of my work on the car, uh, as well as my scooter, which you might see in the background in pieces sitting on the floor there. I'm um, gonna be uh, doing a little bit of an unboxing video today, uh, but I did wanna show you uh, one thing that I did just pick up recently, which is a Ford Ranger, which has the 2.3 Duratec engine in it. Uh, I intend to rebuild that engine, put some tasty uh, bits in it, and then throw that into the Caterham. So uh, we'll go through that. So gang, this is the truck. Beauty, right there. Um, it was in a rollover accident, but the engine and uh, most of the mechanicals are actually in pretty good shape. So uh, this will be getting stripped apart pretty quickly and then uh, rebuilt and then I'll have some uh, some bits as I'll show you in a second uh, going into the, the new engine. Alright so the box from England uh, I have a box full of parts from a Cosworth CSR um, Caterham motor so it was actually a 260 motor 260 horsepower Duratec um, so I'll go through that so I have first off a pair of used, but in pretty good shape, Caterham branded roller barrel throttle bodies. Individual throttle bodies that'll be mated up to the Duratec with individual uh, injectors obviously on them. And uh, so that's number one. Number two. Dry sump system. So I actually have a Pace dry sump um, pan obviously here. Uh, you can actually see what happened to the old motor. There's actually a little bit of a, looks like rod bearing um, gouging going on, shall we say, at the bottom of the pan. So that's uh, there. There is in here, um, what else do we have? Spacers for the uh, throttle bodies. I have a larger four into one collector for the uh, uh, exhaust system. So that's actually stainless steel, quite a nice piece. We've got scavenge pump, the dry sump. All of this is used, but in pretty tidy shape. I'll have to go through and uh, clean some of it up, but that's all right, no problem there doing that. We've got injector rails, uh, a hot, intake and exhaust cam set. So um, these are used again, but in great shape. So we've got an intake cam and an exhaust cam that are in this box here. And uh, that's really about it. Uh, there's actually one more thing. There's the other cam. The other uh, important thing, which is kind of a nice thing that came in the box, and it was from this same motor, it's a gear reduction starter motor. So uh, a little bit lighter weight than the normal starter motor for the Duratec and uh, better for uh, weight saving, obviously. Smaller, a little bit more, bit more compact. That's it. So a bunch of goodies there, which is great. So when this engine gets rebuilt, I'm gonna be throwing all that in after I clean it up, obviously, but throwing it all into the, uh, the motor and away we go, hopefully a little more horsepower.
Well gang, hopefully you liked the video. Uh, please do follow along uh, while I do the, the build on this motor. It's not going to happen for the next couple of weeks, probably a month. Uh, I'm still acquiring parts um, and then I will pull it out of that truck, put the parts into the motor. Uh, but do follow along, it'll be an interesting build uh, on this 2.3 Durotec. Uh, hopefully we can get quite a bit of power out of it and then once it's in that uh, K-Derm will be a whole lot of uh, excitement and fun. Uh, so do subscribe um, for more uh, videos and then do uh, like if you like the videos. That would be fantastic. Thanks for watching guys.